What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today in our Washington football team franchise. And you can see here, maybe we didn't show the last video, I don't know. But we, of course, have made the playoffs and we get to play the 6-10 and 10 San Francisco 49ers. Of course, you know uh, that you, well, maybe you don't know. Maybe you're new to the channel. If you are, maybe like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, don't you care. Sell out. Hello. But we usually do have its own standalone video for stats and awards because we like to go in depth see what the team was looking like, see what the league was looking like, who wins all the awards, and then if we have any upgrades, we go through uh, that as well. And of course, I don't know, for one, I don't know if we're going to win. You know, we might lose this game coming up, but we'll definitely stream at least the wild card round for the playoffs. After that, I'm not 100% sure, so twitch.tv slash hope you care. At some point, you'll see this wild card game uh, for sure. Maybe even, maybe this will actually be streamed before this video even comes out. So, yeah, who knows? But I don't know about the rest because I want to make sure the sliders are absolutely perfect. I don't want to have a fluky Super Bowl year one. I think the sliders are pretty damn good right now. You know, most of these games are very tough. The thing is that we did go 10-6 and six with the Washington football team, which I would have maybe said 7-9 to nine at most. But, yeah, that's why I'm a little weary. I'm a little lazy when I edit these, so maybe I already mentioned it, maybe I didn't, but we're going to have a stream tonight. It's going to be a late one, I'm sorry, at 11 p.m. Central, probably uh, maybe from 11 till 3 or 4, honestly, and uh, yeah, we're going to be playing a franchise video here, of course, with Washington. We're going to be playing probably some Left 4 Dead, maybe some Among Us. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe some Fall Guys, GTA, who damn knows? It should be a fun time. Hopefully you stop by and hopefully you enjoy this video. Take a look at the overall season. Hopefully there's no like cheating in here and I forgot to show it. Uh, we didn't have a restart. I thought we restarted one of the games. So a lot of high scoring games, but obviously the Ravens, they smoked us. Browns, close win uh, for the Browns. Rams, we destroyed them. Giants, we did pretty well. Cowboys was a close one. Giants, this time... They uh, yeah, a little bit better of a plan against us. Came back in that one. Lions beat us. Bengals was a close one. Cowboys, rough. Steelers was a rough one. And then looking at the Panthers, we don't even talk about that. That just doesn't even exist. <laughs> that just doesn't exist. Thankfully, though, it didn't really matter too much because obviously we had no chance at the division regardless because of the game we lost. The Giants just went on a damn tear. Looking at the stats this season. I'm a little disappointed that we had so many stats, uh, you know, good stats for Haskins, and we did turn the ball over quite a bit, but... The fact that he might win MVP with more than 32 turnovers is a bit of an L, but it is what it is. We'll see uh, what happens. Gibson, obviously, 1,153 yards, seven touchdowns, uh, really solid season. Love got neglected a little bit throughout the season, but he had a lot of big plays, and he was more of a receiving type of guy. I imagine his receiving yards are exactly the same or higher on less receptions. Haskins fumbled four times. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be, considering he did have a couple of... I think he did have one, two fumble in one game situation, right? Emmanuel Hall, three fumbles. That's a bit of a yikes. How do you have three fumbles if you only ran twice? What? They, do they only show fumbles for receivers if they ran the ball? I don't know. But look at this game. Look at this season for the receivers. Ridiculous stuff. 1,400 with 12 touchdowns for McLaurin, 1,088 with 13 touchdowns for Sims, 1,068 and 11 touchdowns for Moss. That's absolutely nuts. Emmanuel Hall, once again, he got star and then he kind of just disappeared. Uh, maybe he drew players out more than we thought, but yeah, I would have liked to see a little bit more from him. Maybe next year is his year. Who knows? Bryce Love, like we said, pretty damn good receiving season. Six touchdowns, 412 yards. Not bad at all. Gandy Golden... Yeah, we don't talk about Gandy Golden. Josh Oliver, he was actually all right, but then Moss came back and just crushed it. O-line was maybe a little too good. We'll be monitoring the, the sliders. Looking at sack totals, we ended up with two guys over double digits, Chase Young and Montez Sweat, both with 10 and a half and 11 sacks. Ioannidis, potentially the most consistent pass rusher of the season, had nine, and then the rest is kind of, you know, just not great. Thomas Davis, if he decides to stick around, will most likely be sporting a star development trait badge. Foster could go to X Factor. Probably not, though. Landon Collins could go to Superstar. I don't know. And then picks. Thomas Davis with five. Fuller with five. A couple of there. And that's pretty much that. As far as forced fumbles go, five for White Lightning. Troy Apke with two recoveries. Three for Thomas Davis. Three for Ruben. Three for Landon. Two for Chase, Sweat, and Ioannidis. And then one for Allen. 
Uh, the most recoveries went to Allen, Apke, Landon, and Sean Davis. Sean Davis kind of strange because two recoveries, but he didn't touch a single force fumble. Interesting stuff. Touchdowns on the defense. Two for Foster, two for Fuller. One for Collins, Davis, Thomas Davis, Ronald Darby, and Colvin. As far as kicking goes, really good season from Hopkins. He only missed one kick, and I don't remember from how long. It was actually a short field goal, ironically enough, and we missed two extra points. I wonder when one of those was interesting. Uh, kick return, kind of a meh. Punt return, even more of a meh. Looking at the uh, team stats, first in offensive yardage, 23rd in defense. Nice. Before we go into the actual awards, which we're all waiting for, let's take a look at the entire season. Cam Newton, 4,700 yards, 29 touchdowns, 14 picks. You know, a little high for the picks, but not bad. Breeze, really solid season. Picks are a little high, but still good season. Aaron Rodgers, uh, so far the best of the non-users. Allen, pretty close, but that completion percentage is just as bad as Arge, which is really bad. <laughs> Looking at Sam Darnold, really solid season, really good. Daniel Jones, really good. Matt Ryan, pretty solid. Joe Burrow, really good. Mahomes, really, really good. Baker Mayfield, solid considering it's Baker. Lamar, really good considering he's basically a running back. Uh, and as far as the rest goes, I don't know if we had some injuries here. Ryan Fitzpatrick and Tua, you always see this in Sim. Ryan Fitzpatrick should not have gotten replaced. Don't get me wrong, Tua was good. But 14 touchdowns, zero picks, and you replace him? Are you nuts? As far as uh, completion percentage goes for quarterbacks that are eligible, Rodgers at 70%. Some of these guys are absolutely nuts with these numbers. Best passer rating goes to Ryan Fitzpatrick, Lamar Jackson, Mahomes, and then the rest. Rushing. The most yards on the season goes to Mr. Ezekiel Elliott. Next to him is McCaffrey, Chubb, Mixon, Barkley, Kamara, and then surprisingly Gibson's up there. A lot of 1,000-yard uh, rushers. Any names that we would expect to be up there that weren't because of injury or something, Creamy has to share. Aaron Jones must have got injured because that is very low for him. And I think that's the lowest we would expect to see, right? As far as yards per carry goes, the best on the season – was Christian McCaffrey with 5.9 per, Chubb at 5.4, Gibson at 5.4. So pretty good season there. And the most touchdowns goes to Zeke. Fumbles, who had the most fumbles? Okay, we don't talk about that. Who had the longest run of the season? Saquonis. Saquon, what what do they call him? Saquonimus Prime. I don't care, dude. <laughs> most receiving yards, Terry McLaurin. A couple of other guys down here. I mean, this is pretty common. You see a lot of big uh, number wide receivers and whatnot. Sims. Moss, I love it. I love it. Seeing three guys at a 1,000 on the same damn team. A couple of guys with uh, double-digit touchdowns. We had three of them. Not bad at all. The most sacks allowed for the season was DJ Humphreys with 23. Makai Becton with 19. Really? Look at some of these big guys with a lot of sacks allowed. It's a bit strange. Best kicker of the year goes to Tyler Bass, Venateri, Mason Crosby, Goshkowski, then Hopkins. The most blocked kicks on the season was Joey Sly. He got blocked three times. And what was the longest made? Longest field goal made on the season was a 58-yard bomb from Will Lutz. Longest punt of the season? Where's the longest? Longest punt of the season, Thomas Morissette with 74 yards. Jesus. Best yard averager was Michael Dixon. Kick return touchdowns. Any numbers there? A couple for Cameron Batson. And a decent bit of kick return touchdowns. And then punt return touchdowns. There was three Two of them going to Tyreek Hill. Nice. Now for the big one. Is usually what I say when I pull it out of my pants. Uh, the yearly awards. MVP Haskins. It is. I'm not going to lie. From a realism standpoint, I really wish Mahomes would have just won it. Maybe even Rodgers. I think Rodgers and then Lamar probably deserved it the most. A little surprised that they aren't like number one, two, and three probably. You know, this kind of order. But it is what it is. Dwayne Haskins may be the most undeserved MVP of all time, but I suppose we'll freaking take it. Offensive Player of the Year goes to Wilson, Rodgers, Breeze, Daniel Jones, and then Haskins. It's really strange. Player of the Year! The guy that said... They said he was too old. They said, hey, he's got less speed than Vince Wilfork in his final season on the Patriots. I said, you know what? I'm the ultimate youth fiend in Madden, but he's too damn good to get passed on. He's starting, and look what he did. The defensive player of the year for the NFC side, my guy, Thomas Davis, senior, junior, senior, senior. And, of course, Ruben Foster at number eight. Patrick Peterson. I love Patrick Peterson. 
No one ever talks about him anymore. Is he still good? Offensive rookie of the year goes to Antonio Gibson. Not going to lie. Could look for a new running back in the future. Maybe. Could look for a new tight end. So I guess it really doesn't matter which one of them wins offensive rookie of the year. Good stuff, though. Uh, and a couple of decent names there. Justin Jefferson, Swift, CeeDee Lamb, A.J. Dillon. So, of course, lucky that we didn't really have the uh, the quarterbacks. Pretty much all the quarterback teams for the rookie draft were uh, AFC, right? Uh, looking at defensive rookie of the year, of course, Chase Young. Not really a huge surprise. Usually it is a pass rusher, and Chase did have a pretty damn good year. Looking at quarterback, best QB goes to Dwayne Haskins. Running back, uh, unfortunately, our guy's all the way at eight just because of the touchdowns, which is really strange, but it is what it is. McLaurin and Sims are both going to be making the Pro Bowl. We might have the top three uh, you know, positions at the Pro Bowl. Wide receiver, QB, wide receiver two, and tight end one, perhaps. Four guys there. Uh, O-line, we had Sheriff at 7, D-line, uh, Matthew Ioannidis at 10, uh, linebacker, Thomas Davis at 3, good old Ruben at 6, DB, anyone there? Fuller at 5, thought maybe Landon or something, uh, kicker at number 7, I guess we'll quickly run through the AFC side and then we'll look at potential upgrades you might have had and then pay, take a quick preview look at what team we're going to be facing in the next round of course the Niners do they have any injuries that's the question the biggest question so as far as what the Niners like to do they like to run obviously inside zone because they have great linemen uh, as far as their defense goes I would say that they're good on the run defense as well uh, they blitz 49% of the time that is a lot of blitzing so is there a blitz counter so run counters backed up offense we Blitz counter. So we're going to run a blitz counter because we definitely need it. And then as far as this goes, I think we're going to practice inside runs again. Let's go. Go to the practice field. Oh, yeah, it is a big game. It's a do or die game. The first of the season. And maybe the last. <laughs> Hopefully not, but you never know. So as far as blitz counters go, we'd expect a lot of slants and maybe a screen or two. All right, so slants. Like, don't get me wrong. If I didn't get that one there, that's on me. You know, I had other looks and I threw it early. Inside, uh, Terry McLaurin's that guy, obviously. Looking a little slow out of his break, though, I will admit. Hopefully he didn't get injured last week. I mean, let's be honest. If it's a blitz, I'm looking for the slant 99 times out of 100. It's just going to be the way, and this is going to be a failed play already. Oh, Emmanuel Hall with the speed. I will say I normally would throw that a little earlier, but usually the guy will step too far over, and I just, you know, it's just not good. And a perfect blitz counter uh, practice. Gotta love it. Inside look. What a play. Duran Payne threw his lineman to the side. I believe his lineman. And then just went. Carsoned him. Carson went. I don't know. Foster on the inside. And look at these D-line. Loving it. Loving it. All right. Fourth and 12 from the 17-yard line. Should have this red. And we do. Smoked him. They lost yards on the drive. Fourth and 14, and they lose yards on the drive again. All right, fourth and short. Apke, make the hit stick play. Read it perfectly, and sweat, you sexual individual. Three for three. This could be a very good playoff game for us. Get our upgrades in, and then, of course, next episode, we will be playing the Niners, who do not deserve to be here, so definitely going to beat us. Upgrade player, so uh, I don't know who the hell Kyle Hinton is, but, you know, congratulations on uh, making your name in the video, I suppose. Plus two to morale. Route running is almost, you know, perfectly fine where we're at, but I'm going to go one more route running. Actually, no, let's go slot. Let's go slot. We need that catching. Slot upgrade, two catch in traffic, change in direction, one for deep and two for short. So catch in traffic now at 89, deep at 88, medium at 87, short at 92. So Terry McLaurin is looking Filth levels, good. Duran Payne, uh, we do need him as the run stopper. Yeah, we're just going to keep him as the main run stopper, and then hopefully everyone else can provide the pressure. One, mm, I don't like that upgrade. That's just not good. Landon Collins, run support. Don't even worry about the coverage. Just hit, hit, just hit, dudes. Who cares? All right, agility. Interesting, interesting stuff. Uh, let's go, Steven Sims. We'll wait for Dwayne Haskins. Steven Sims could use a lot. Of, he's actually pretty good. So let's go route runner now. 80 overall, technically a 78. With one agility, two medium, one deep, two medium. Okay, he's, I mean, he's pretty damn solid now. Thaddeus Moss with three upgrades. Come on, Thaddeus. A couple of speed upgrades wouldn't hurt you, would it? 
I never see speed upgrades from uh, tight ends, man. I just never do. That he is Moss. Three medium route, two catch in traffic. So as far as his ability to catch, he's pretty dependable. Route running could definitely use some work. And I would like for him to not be as slow as, once again, Vince Wilfork in his final year as a Patriot. As far as Dwayne Haskins goes, I suppose deep accuracy is his biggest need. So let's just keep going strong arm, maybe even get another throw power. He gets one mid, two pressure, one play action. What's his throw under pressure? I'll take that upgrade. I'll take that upgrade. And I suppose the rest are just going to auto simulate. But those are the awards. And let's say we got a, a little bit lucky with some of the awards you won, which you know could definitely be some fun once it's the Super Bowl week and we get those dev ups. Of course, it would be nice if we were also a part of Super Bowl week, but we do have to face the Niners first. And that will be uploaded probably Tuesday, if I had to guess. Regardless, going to have some sort of stream tonight at probably, it's going to be a late one because I do have to play a Rams franchise game, uh, probably at 11 p.m. Central. And who knows how long that could go on. It could be all night. So I apologize for another late stream. But for you guys that are going to stay on late, it should be a great time. Play uh, a Washington game, uh, the playoffs, uh, and then probably... Maybe a little Left 4 Dead, maybe some GTA, maybe some Fall Guys, and potentially, if anyone's around, maybe some Among Us. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Could be a fun stream. Thanks for watching today's videos. Tomorrow will be some sort of rebuild. Could be a, a specific challenge rebuild people have been asking for. Uh, I don't know. I haven't started yet because I'm tired. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, uh, see ya.